I'm Keith Ignatz, the president and CEO of Ocumetic. Ocumetic is developing time drug delivery to the eye via contact lens or clear corneal bandage with extended wear to replace eye drops. The available eye drop market is $16 billion a year, growing at better than 8%. The problem we're trying to solve is that less than 5% of the active therapeutic gets to the target tissue. Patients need to take multiple drops per day, and many patients miss their drops, which leads to better than 70 billion in complications. Our solution is drug being continuously delivered to the tissue, and doctors deliver the therapeutic. No patient involvement. Complications and healthcare costs potentially can be reduced. So the benefits are improved efficacy, convenience, quicker recovery, reduced complications, and potentially cost savings to our healthcare system. And most importantly, the eye care professional is already trained to deliver ocumetic therapy at the point of care. Our lead product and target markets are for pre and post cataract, LASIK, and corneal abrasion. The drug eluding bandage lens replaces these eye drops. Loaded into the lens is Bronfenac a first-line anti-inflammatory non-steroidal drug. It's a fundamental drug utilized in these indications. The material is silicon hydrogel. Silicon hydrogel is what 80% of all the contact lenses in the market are made of today. The wear time is seven days, seven days to match the patient recall patterns when they revisit the doctor after a surgery. The material and the drug are both very safe with wide and deep safety profiles. Our regulatory path is guided by Pharmalogic, recommending that it would be a FDA pre-IND application to CEDAR with precedent. A meeting is currently being scheduled with the agency. The study endpoints, Ocumetic delivery of the drug would not be inferior to the delivery of a Bronfenac eye drop. Our anti-inflammatory Bronfenac has been on board our device. And in these charts, you will see that we have loaded in actually two drugs, Bronfenac, the anti-inflammatory, and moxifloxin, a antibiotic, in the left-hand chart with good linearity. On the right-hand side of the chart, you'll see that we have the ability to dial in the delivery times with good linearity based on a monomer to template uh, configuration of the material within the lens. Our competitive advantage is we potentially could be a first mover in the market. We're patent protected. There are nine issued patents, and we just got a, a, a notice from the European office that our European patent will grant with broad claims. In vivo efficacy has been proven, and our technology is based upon the memory for the drug produced in polymer synthesis with monomers that are complexed non-covalently to the drug and cross-linked to the hydrogel matrix, and that provides controlled release. We can literally dial in the release profile of up to 10 different ophthalmic drugs. Our second product in the pipeline is focused on dry eye disease, an area of significant growth over the next several years. And it's one of the most common visits with early signs and symptoms to an eye care professional. Our pipeline, we're focused on now raising a $4 million Series A. The use of funds would be to advance our cataract, LASIK, and corneal abrasion technology on through a navigating animal study and on to the completion and readout of a phase 1-2 trial. Our second product in line is for dry eye. We're loading in Restasis, the off-patent allergan drug, cyclosporin, with hydrolonic acid, HA, as a, safe, as a comfort agent. And this is an in vitro development program. And following that would be for glaucoma. And in terms of glaucomas, this is an NIH-funded uh, in vitro study using prostaglandin anal analogs. So what would you prefer, 336 drops or a seven-day continuous wear delivery of the thalmic therapeutic placed by the doctor, removed by the doctor, and then replaced by the doctor? 
for either cataract or LASIK or corneal abrasion. Reimbursement for the technology in certain indications for corneal abrasion, dry eye, corneal ulcers, erosion is immediate with these CPT codes of 72071 and 72070. Following that, we would apply it to AMA CMS for HCPCS code for the delivery of the drug. As far as the manufacturing and the current uh, portability to uh, manufacturing processes, the current uh, configuration of the delivery mechanism would be silicon hydrogel mixed with and combined with monomers and the anti-inflammatory drug would be then mixed and then uh, injected for polymerization into a standard manufacturing mold in a contact lens manufacturing facility. It would move on to UV curing and then QC inspection, then packaging and heat sterilization. As far as heat sterilization and denaturing of the drug or the material, all the tests have been completed for the process. There is a lot of competition uh, attempting to replace uh, eye drops in the market. There have been uh, offerings from Alza and BNL in terms of punctal plugs that had problems with burst or ejection where the patient didn't know that they were receiving the therapeutic and they're now off the market. We have new entrants like Ocular Therapeutics or MATI with new plug configurations for glaucoma. Other ways to attempt to deliver drugs like a, a solid disc under your lid. Uh, will that cause uh, a, a, a problem with uh, patient irritation or spraying drug onto the eye with uh, a micropixel approach and then with eye gate and foresight, ocular bandage with gel for extended release, iontophoresis to drive drug to the target tissue, or a ring that would fit around the uh, conjunctiva. Many different approaches, but many require training and are non-standard to the industry. So revenue projections for our market opportunity, if you uh, include cataract, laser, corneal market, uh, uh, would be about $100 million at 5% uh, share and if dry eye moving that forward another 275 million so 375 million dollar potential with just a 5% uh, penetration within the market. So uh, we have a technology that's cost competitive with a very high gross margin so why choose the product? Higher efficacy, yes, convenience, improved outcomes, reduction in complications, better bioavailability, reimbursement in a number of indications and uh, healthcare potential cost savings. I joined the company uh, from Freedom Meditech, a company that had a non-invasive diabetes screening instrument uh, based on making measurements of the lens of the eye that I recently sold. I've been the CEO of a number of companies. I've taken companies that are venture-backed uh, public. Uh, and uh, in my early career, I was uh, uh, part of Allergan as a senior vice president, sold uh, Allergan Humphrey to Zeiss. I joined uh, Dr. Mark Byrne, a distinguished engineering professor and researcher uh, of the technology. He's preeminent in this space in biomaterials. And currently, uh, his uh, brother is uh, serving as our CFO with experience from McKinsey. Our scientific advisory board includes the global head of R&D from Siva Vision. Uh, he's currently on, on the board as uh, joining Paul Carpecki, who's going to guide us on the optometric side of the business. So our investment opportunity at Ocumetic, large and growing market, reimbursement approval for certain indications, reduction potential in healthcare costs, a small penetration is a very large revenue opportunity, and we're looking at uh, strategic acquirers for the technology as we move to proof of efficacy in a phase one, two human study. There have been a number of takeouts at phase one, two, or two with eye gate and foresight in significant uh, valuations of 135 for BNL Valiant and 95 million for Allergan. We're currently in discussions with several companies that are listed below. Please visit our website at www.ocumetics.com.